Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to create the cake of my dreams. <laughs> I'm using some brand new products from the Essentials by Ellen line that is available exclusively at ellenhudson.com. And I'm gonna create a rainbow sprinkle shaker birthday card. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that actually for my birthday, I did have a rainbow sprinkle birthday cake. And so I'm kind of recreating that here. And I'm starting off with a panel of Concord and Ninth white cardstock and the Concord and Ninth Aqua Sky ink. And I'm just doing a little ink blending on this panel because I am going to use this brand new confetti hot foil plate from the Essentials by Ellen line to add a little bit of sparkle to this background. Now, when you are hot foiling over some ink blending, you want to make sure it's good and dry before you hot foil. And that will help to make sure that your foil adheres to the cardstock so there's no moisture in it. Now for my hot foiling today, I'm going to be using the Spellbinders Opal Foil. And this is one of the few that I keep on the roll so that I know which side is the front and which side is the back. It is a translucent iridescent foil that you can use with any of your foil plates. It creates a beautiful effect. I have my Gemini foil press set on the medium heat, which I find is best when using the Spellbinders Glimmer Foils with the Gemini foil press. And you can see after I run that through my Gemini Junior to press the foil onto the cardstock, I have that beautiful iridescent sparkle in the background. Now I'm gonna do some more hot foiling and I am using this brand new hot foil sentiment set from the Essentials by Ellen Line. They've released several of these in the past and they have different themes. This one is birthday and celebration and I think it's absolutely perfect. It does coordinate with the Essentials by Ellen sentiment strips die so you can hot foil and die cut all of these sentiment strips at once. I'm using some Concord and Ninth white cardstock for this along with the Spellbinder champagne foil and I got a perfect image on the first try. So here's that sentiment strips die set. I'm gonna go ahead and line that up. I'm gonna run it through my Anna Griffin Impress die cut machine to die cut all of those sentiments at once. And now I have a ton of hot foiled sentiments ready for so many card projects. I need a lot of birthday cards, so this is perfect for me. Now, if you're not into the hot foil game, that's okay. There is also a one piece stamp set that stamps several of these birthday greetings all at once, and you can use it also in conjunction with the Essentials by Element sentiment strips die to create a bunch of stamped birthday sentiments instead. Now for the cake slice, I am using the cake day stamp set from the Essentials by Ellen line. I'm gonna start by stamping this cake slice in some Gina K Obsidian Black Amalgam ink onto some white cardstock. Just getting a nice image there. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to be die cutting this with the coordinating die and it's gonna cut those little strips of layers of the cake out. So I'm not too worried about that imperfect stamping there in the middle. I now have the sprinkle stamp from the same stamp set mounted on my mini Misty lid. And I'm just doing a little bit of rainbow inking directly onto the stamp. I'm not worried too much about blending it together really smoothly because it's not a solid stamp. So I'm just kind of tapping my ink pad, going from Coral Cabana, do, -Si do Apricot, and Lemongrass. These are all from Concord and Ninth. And then I'm gonna stamp that onto my cake layer there. And then I'm gonna go back on this sprinkle set and add just a little bit of Aqua Sky to the very bottom of those sprinkles. And I'm going to intensify the red at the very top with a little bit more of that Coral Cabana ink from the Catherine Pooler line. So I'm just kind of fine tuning the color palette here a little bit, if you will. <laughs> now, in order to make sure that I get my die lined up perfectly, I've gone ahead and used this die to die cut some plain white cardstock. And then I'm lining that negative piece up over my stamped image. And then I'm going to slide that die around until it kind of locks into place. 
I'll hold all of this in place using a little bit of washi tape and then I'll be able to run this through my die cut machine and make sure that I have the die perfectly positioned in line with my stamped image. This is a great tool, especially when you're using a die like this that has a lot more solid area. Now you can see that it die cut out all of those kind of slice pieces of the cake. I am going to stamp those onto this solid piece of cake, which is also included in the die set using the stamp set. And we're gonna create some rainbow layers. Now, in order to make sure that everything's lining up perfectly, I'm gonna use that negative portion of the die cut again and put my solid piece of cake in there. Then I'm going to line up this other die cut over the top of it, hold my layer stamp in place there, pick it up with my mini misty, and then I'm gonna remove this piece here and just stamp on that plain white solid layer below. So I'm starting with the Coral Cabana, or no, this is the do -Si do ink from Catherine Pooler, and I'm just gonna stamp it onto that plain white die cut. And then I'm gonna clean the stamp and I'm gonna line it up again with the second layer of the cake, just like I did with the first layer of cake, and then stamp it in another color. Now eventually we're going to take this slice of cake and turn it into a shaker card, but I wanted to have these rainbow layers kind of behind this shaker front so that I can make a really fun rainbow slice of cake here. So this second color of ink that I'm using is apricot ink from Catherine Pooler. And you can see each time I am using this piece to help me align my stamped image, but I'm removing that cake slice from the top so that I don't stamp over the top of it when I stamp each of these colors onto that plain white piece of cardstock below. So the third and final ink color that I'm using is Concord and Ninth Aqua Sky. It's a beautiful aqua ink. And I'm just stamping that once again onto this base layer of the die cut to create that rainbow slice effect. And yes, the cake that I had for my birthday had rainbow layers. It was amazing. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it. And it had like the full like colors of the rainbow. They were so intense. It came from Carlo's Bakery in New York, and I actually ordered it from um, goldbelly.com, just in case you care. I mean, I don't live anywhere near New York or Hoboken or wherever he's from. <laughs> so that was a fun way to order a special cake for my birthday. Now, I also stamped and colored in the candle from the Cake Day stamp set, and I'm going to actually tuck it right into the very top of this cake slice here. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna take a craft knife and cut a slit in the top of this cake slice. That's going to allow me to kind of put the candle down right into the center of the cake slice and make it look like it's coming right out of the top of it. So once I've done that, I'm gonna flip this over, add some liquid glue to the back to hold that candle in place. And then I'm gonna start layering up this cake. Now I'm going to cut several of these layers with the slices cut out to build up some dimension. If you wanted to use some foam adhesive, you could definitely do that instead, but there's some really narrow areas of this cake slice that may make it a little more difficult to add some foam adhesive. So I'm starting with a plain white layer on the back of that stamped layer just to give it a little bit of heft. And then I'm going to take some acetate and place that right on the back of that cake slice. This is going to be my shaker front. And then you can see all of those layers of plain white die cuts that I have there at the top of the screen. I'm gonna layer those up to create some depth and dimension to hold all of the guts of my shaker card. So I got a little bit overboard with this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did, I think, about eight layers of these plain white cardstock. I don't think you need that much, but you know, sometimes I get going on things and I just, you know, I can't help myself. So I have those all adhered together and then I took my little panel that I have that really pretty iridescent confetti on and I die cut that using the Essentials by Ellen Essential Rectangles. I'm sorry for the weird light on my craft mat. This was in the afternoon, which I don't tend to film in the afternoon very often, and this could be one of the reasons, um, but this is just how it was that day, so I apologize for that. 
Now into these little wells that I created by stacking up those die cuts, I'm adding some iridescent sparkly bits, some stars and some confetti, and I'm just adding it to each of those layers. Now this is a kind of shaker card where you could actually add different colors into each well and they would stay separate because of how I've layered up those die cuts underneath. I did use the same sparkly bits in each layer of this cake. So that's a totally different option if you wanna do it, that would be fun as well. Now I'm kind of figuring my card design out and I'm taking this little, I guess, shine stamp <laughs> from the Cake Day stamp set and I'm stamping it onto my card front using some apricot ink from Katherine Pooler. And then I'm going to adhere my cake slice onto this panel. It's very hefty. She's very thick. <laughs> it's got a lot of weight to it. And I'm just adhering that right onto that panel. And then over the top of that, I'm gonna take this sentiment strip and adhere it at an angle over this cake slice using some liquid glue. And I did add a second layer of white cardstock underneath this foiled piece just to give it a little bit of weight and a little bit of heft once again. Now I'm gonna take that right side of the sentiment strip and just kind of trim it off here in just a bit. But first I'm gonna layer this up onto some Aqua Sky cardstock, I believe that is. And then I'm going to pull out a supply that I have not used in quite some time. And that is my Stardust Stickles. Now, if you've been around for a little while, you know that we card makers used to use Stardust Stickles on everything. I thought this was the perfect opportunity to add a little more sparkle to this cake. So I'm just adding a little bit along that line there, kind of that curve line. And I'm just kind of spreading it out with the tip of the Stickles bottle. And then I'm gonna add a little bit at the base of this layer too. And that's just gonna add another element of sparkle and shine to this fabulous card. Now this absolutely is the cake of my dreams. It's got rainbow sprinkles, sparkles, all of the good things, rainbow layers. But I think the best part about all of these products together is that you could customize it and make your own dream cake using the Cake Day stamp set and coordinating dies from the Essentials by Ellen line. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there, or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. And let me know in the comments below, would you like to eat some rainbow layered sprinkle cake? <laughs> Thanks again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.